Mr. Speaker. I listened to uh, my colleague, who is an absolutely uh, brilliant member of uh, the intelligence community uh, and has provided a continuing and dedicated service uh, for the period of time that he and I have served on the committee together. Uh, but one thing I think I know a little bit more about than he does, and that is our prison system. And that's for the reason uh, that um, uh, I participated as a state and federal judge and then as a lawyer uh, in dealing with circumstances in our prisons. And when our colleagues suggest uh, uh, that uh, detainees are treated in a certain way um, uh, and that those particular things, for example, food or the length of the hair or religious convictions, all of those things have been litigated uh, ad nauseum in the United States. And I can assure you uh, that persons who are in custody in the United States uh, find themselves uh, able to access uh, to the food that it comports with um, uh, their religious requirements and also the other circumstances. One thing that is great about America is that we do have values. And one thing that's great about us in handling others even much better than they even ever consider us is that those values manifest themselves in the treatment of persons who are, are our enemies. Now I'm going to try with this document here to put to rest this not in my backyard argument that I continue to hear from my colleagues about Guantanamo. I first want to commend to my colleagues H.R. 3728, the Detainment Reform Act of 2009 that I filed, and I would urge them to look at it and look at the detention criteria and uh, the ways of, uh, to process detainees, as well as the reporting requirements uh, that transpire. I will not take the time now uh, to go into detail, but that measure is sitting here uh, and any one of them can join it, and I have no pride of authorship, and I've said to members on the other side and on our side that if there's something that they can add or detract, then please do so. But regarding where you put people that we hold, and somehow or another the thought being that we can't try people in our federal system, or, or for that matter, we have um, a situation where every detainee um, uh, must be uh, tried in military commissions, according to some. Well, let me tell you some of the people that we hold in one prison today. The Bureau of Prisons, ADX Supermax in Florence, Colorado, has a capacity of 490 inmates. There are currently 445, leaving 45 cells available. And I can assure you, anybody in Guantanamo uh, could be transferred here with no threat to Florence, Colorado. No one has ever escaped Supermax. Supermax officers are some of the best trained in the nation. And current dates include, let me just give you some of these people. Anthony Casa a mobster and former underboss of the Lucisi crime family is at this prison. What E. L. Hogg, a co-conspirator in the 90, 1998 United States Embassy bombing, is in this prison. Matthew Hale, a white supremacist leader convicted of soliciting the murder of a federal judge. Larry Hoover, the leader of the gangster Dis disciples nation based in Chicago, is in this prison. Jeff Ford, the co-founder of the Black P. Stones gang in Chicago and founder of its El Rukin uh, faction. Omar Parti, the co-founder of the United Blood Nation, is in this prison, never escaped. Theodore, Theodore Kaczynski, the Unibomber, is in this prison in Colorado. Juan uh, Mara Ballesteros, the drug trafficker uh, co-conspirator in the Enrique Camarana, uh, 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 case. Zarias uh, Masawi, remember him? 
He was tried in our regular system as a co-conspirator in the September 11, 2001 attacks. Guess where he is? In Colorado, in Supermax. Uh, Terry Nichols, the Oklahoma City bomber, is in this prison. Richard Calvin Reed, the Islamic terrorist na nicknamed the Shoe Bomber, who also came through our regular system under the aegis of the previous president, is in this prison. Um, the uh, Eric, Rupert, Eric Robert Rudolph, convicted of the 1996 Olympic Park bombing. Dwight York, Ramiz Youssef, the World Trade Center bombing is in this prison. Which Enough of this not in my backyard. We can hold these people. H. Rap Brown is in this prison. <laughs> Thomas Silverstein, convicted of murdering federal correctional officers. Gentlemen, Louis yield. Philippe, no, I will not yield. <laughs> Almighty Latin Kings and Queen Nation. Howard Mason, a drug trafficker who ordered the murder of a police officer named Eddie Byrne. A leading member of the Aryan Brotherhood, Barry Mills, is in this prison. So what are y'all talking about? when you stand around and tell people that we can't hold people in supermax. With we the can hold them in so Guantanamo, I will not. We can hold them in Guantanamo, we can hold them in supermax, and we can do everything that is required of us as a nation in order to protect ourselves in that regard. But what has happened in this institution uh -oh, is you've given the American public a chance to believe that they would be afraid if you held them in certain uh, institutions in your neighborhood. Well, they've come through your neighborhood an awful lot, and you evidently didn't know about it, uh, because I personally am just a little tired of your not-in-my-backyard attitude about this particular system. We can hold terrorists, and we can hold criminals, and we've been doing it all of my adult career, and that's 50 years as a lawyer.